Yeah, so this matchup, Nuggets versus the Timberwolves. Now, this is the NBA fans, like, really, for NBA fans, really good series. For a casual person, they do not care about nothing. They say this, I do not care about (laughs) the Nuggets as chicken. Like, the Timberwolves, ain't nobody care about nothing. But we're NBA fans, so um, how y'all feeling about the series? Who y'all think coming out? A lot of people think the Timberwolves might might, might do something. I think these people are right. We're not right. You know, it's a 50-50 series. This is not a cakewalk at all for either team. I think this is probably the worst matchup for Denver because they got the bigs to match. They got the two bigs, and then they got Jaden McDaniels, boy. Hey, they got KD, but we got Jaden McDaniels. <laughs> That's a quote right there. Hey, that boy Devin Booker was in hell, in hell when he was guarded by this man, bro. But playoff Murray – Playoff Murray, right? Well, a playoff Murray is a, you, you, you have to play off Murray, but it's fact. Guess what? He got, See, he got, he got the thing. He got contested by the the, the, the Kawhi plot. He got he got the knee. He got that knee plot. He's hobbling, <laughs> so it's not fully him. Exactly. That's why I'm the Lakers. That's who they. That's how they should have guarded him on that last shot. You know how they did Kawhi against in against uh Philly. You know how like five people tried to. Everybody knew Kawhi was about to shoot it. <laughs> He switched off on like five defenders, and the last defender was uh, Embiid. Bro, yeah. I'm, that's why I'm looking at the Lakers. I'm like, bro, yeah, they they, they were trying to the game, bro. on the yeah. island. Oh my, nah, we we talking about something else. My bad. I got the. I got you. Uh, but I, I got, got you. Minnesota. Yeah, we'll get there. Nah, that, yeah, that's, okay. that's that's a stop and hate. I got the stunt. I I got the uh, Denver winning. You got Denver. Yeah. I always I got, Denver. I got I Denver in seven. I got a I few game one. I, oh, I want one because I don't think Anthony Edwards. Edwards. I think he'll have a good game, but I don't know if it'll be enough for the. Uh, damn, I'm forgetting their names for the. Uh, the Nuggets. For the Nuggets. Nuggets. I just feel like they're such a great team, bro. Like, it's like a and it, they, it's not in your face great, but they are we'll a great see. team. It's not like the so you you look at the Warriors well, and they're in your face type of great. And I'm not talking about how they play. They're, over, they're overwhelmingly good, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah the Spurs, like he just said, the Spurs. With the, with, the, uh, with the Nuggets, it's like, how? Like, we up 20 points. How y'all come back? Like, like how? Team oh, basketball, oh, boy. Oh, good plays. On, all good yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how the they Nuggets are. If, if you want to, one word to describe them is how. Because that's exactly, <laughs> even all their Vegas is how. Coached. Murray, how are you hitting all these game winners? Jokic, oh, no, he got that. How are you getting 30 oh, rebounds and you going against 80? How are you hitting one shot? You know, hitting five off Porter, one shooting over at Austin Reeves. Porter, <laughs> how are you hitting threes like you? I don't know. He had, he's taller than you. He's, well, he, he's taller. But my, Anthony, he, L, he, not he's Anthony. Um, Gordon. He's supposed to be a Nick. Hey, Gordon. I like Gordon. He he was supposed to be a superstar too, and he played his role well. And then lastly, how is uh. <laughs> What's the, what's the dude now? Like, the Lakers. Lakers are so stupid. Oh my gosh! What you Come on, Blind, the Aaron Gordon, C, um, Caldwell. ACP, yeah, Call yeah. Okay. How are you balling now? That's what I'm saying. So because he went, he went, no, he, he was balling before. Run, no, the Lakers. He, 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 yeah, he balled with the Lakers. They just didn't. They let him go, or they let him go. Rob yeah. Pelinka, no, Jeannie Buss. They said they wanted to get Russell oh, Westbrook. I remember, he, I remember him being. <laughs> That's the reason why the Lakers suck. Just bad trade. He is pivotal to that team. But what are you gonna say, Lewis? It's because of one person. This is why, like you, you mentioned, all these players, and you want you want them to go to other teams. I'm telling you, if these players wouldn't be as good. It's because they're playing with Jokic. He literally yeah. makes everyone on his team that much better with his passing. You think, you think he does it? He does it better than LeBron does, like making his teammates better. Yeah. Like, every time LeBron goes, every time somebody yeah. goes, LeBron, they get. I swear, they they look worse. I'm I'm sorry. Oh yeah. But, was, yeah. I you swear. Know what? You know, problems, why? Bro. you know why? I saw I saw a thing. Shout out to, uh, to I saw a TikTok. Shout out to Who Politics. He explained it perfectly on why this is the case. He says, imagine um what what LeBron is, he's a high usage player, and the way he plays is is that he needs to come and like be the man every night. And he does this for like 82 games straight. And so when it's time for playoffs and they're like he's the key of focus, now we're we're deferring it to Austin Reeves. Who ain't got a rhythm? Who ain't been going this entire season? D'Angelo Russell, who ain't used to these shots for the, for the entire season, and we're expecting him to make it. It's because they don't have enough reps, touches during the that's season. What so that's what happened with Westbrook. Um, so like when it's, time, 
it's, it, they don't, so when it's time for them to take over, you know, we're looking at them crazy. It's exactly, like, exactly well, what was rather than Jokic, Jokic's biggest asset, Jokic can go, go out there and casually get you 50. I'm telling you, the moment he'll get you 50 is the moment he'll lose because that's actually his weakness. Like, him scoring is a weakness for the for the different Nuggets because his biggest asset is him getting everyone else going. He is a passer. Like none, he's a playmaker like none other, bro. So the key to stopping the Denver Nuggets is being up. Really, is stopping one person, two seven. If you can stop two seven, you can stop this entire team, a hundred percent. I mean, I mean, I, I, yeah. yeah I mean, you if you Jamal say, Murray, Mike, Michael Porter definitely is like. I mean, I know I, he's I, inconsistent, I, but I think, it, it, yeah. I mean, even with Michael Porter going off, yeah, it's it's lethal. But when Jamal Murray gets going. That's what well, that's what kills the Lakers every time. They it's hard they, to stop that though. It's hard. Jok- it's Jokic easy. helps him get off. Like that's, Jokic helps him do that. Like that's just... in to stop him. I know it's hard. Jokic is a seven foot three playmaker. And he's some a... dribble handoffs are deadly, but you can't have dribble handoffs. The difference between LeBron and Jokic. Work. If any team can do it, it's the Timberwolves. They they got all the defenders. They got like nine defenders on that. You got to defend. I don't know the plot. You got to see if Jokic should. I, I don't know if Rudy Gobert can stop Jokic because he did say he had 40 on him. That was like, I got 40, <laughs> <laughs> I got 40, yeah, the I think that's This will be interesting. I think he will really for the tip- pull up this time. I think he'll, he'll do something. Who? who? I didn't what you said. My fault. John, who, who's going to pull You said, <laughs> what did you say, John? Gobert. <laughs> Lee, 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 Lee. Okay, there you go. I mean, I, was, uh, I'm, I don't know. It depends, Jokic. It, it depends on what Jokic want to do. I don't exactly. like like Lewis was saying. Like the key is Carl that, Anthony Towns. That's why. Remember, I said last time, just let him shoot. And y'all thought I meant like just leave him open. That's not really what I meant by that. I meant like, for instance, if you leave him open three, he not like Westbrook. If you leave Westbrook open five times, he's shooting five times. You if you leave Jokic open five times, okay. He mentally, he not gonna want to shoot it five times. Even if I'm not, he probably make all five too. But he wants to get the ball to other players. That's just how. That's the type of player he is. But that's kind of what I was saying. It's not like necessarily like, oh, we're going to leave him open like we do Westbrook. No, that's not what I meant by that. And LeBron's the best on this, on this podcast with J.J. Reddick. He, he, he not trying to play you. He playing your coach. So, yeah, you, you leave him for five. It was five shots. If he hit three of them, your coach would be like, okay, we need to go out there. And and now that's, that's messing up all your rotations. So he got you. Now he's throwing no looks. He throwing he's doing dribble handoffs again. It's he did little, with that little thing where he tap he did a little tap thing. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm telling you, look, like, like, how that's what I the word for them is how. Word of the day. I'm telling you. Uh, let me say, Amrice, you you gonna say what you gonna say too? But like, Carl Anthony you, Towns has to be good. Carl Anthony Towns is that notoriously bad plot. He played well in that last series, right? I'm gonna tell you, like Anthony Edwards said, it stop effing fouling because we need you because Carl Anthony Towns is arguably. Like, is arguably their best offensive player, and that's arguable, obviously, Anthony Edwards. But, like, Carl Anthony Towns' ability to stretch the floor as a four and five, like four or five, whatever he wants to play in that moment, is very important. So, he has to show up because if Anthony Edwards plays really well and Carl Anthony Towns plays terrible, they're not beating the Denver Nuggets. I, I'm telling you, that's a thousand percent the case. Rudy Gobert, those two, I, you need Cat. So, he has to step up in this series. If I see Cat struggle, it's cooked, it's wrapped, it's going home in five and six. I, 100%. I think Cat's going to be the, the primary defender on Jokic. <laughs> I no. think that's a smart thing to do. No, because I'm just, I'm why? Because, uh, there's no way. You, you, you were just talking about fouling. There's no way he could be a primary defender. No, no, no. He, he's, he's not going to be the foul because you know Jokic. Jokic is a playmaker, right? You you play Rudy Gobert off. You play him on Aaron Gordon, who's probably their weakest shooter of the team. So okay. he can he can always when when you play Gobert on Jokic, Jokic can pull Gobert out the paint, whether you like it or not. He can pull him out. So how do you keep him in the paint? You do like the Lakers did. You put you put your primary defender on Aaron Gordon. You let him shoot. He could live and die by him shooting eight threes in the corner. Hit him. Beat us. Please beat us. Beat That's please. Beat. Okay. Yeah. And then you and then here's a kicker. You every time Jokic catch it on that high, that high pick and roll, if he's close enough, double him with both Cat and Rudy Gobert. Two seven footers doubling him. Okay, let's see if you know, I know he's that great. Let's rattle him a bit, bit, though. You need to you need to mess up his rhythm, his his playmaking rhythm. If you can rattle that, you got a shot. You got a shot. Who what what, what who has rattled uh, Jokic just in the postseason in his career? Who who has like 
Who's the who? What teams or what players has rattled Jokic and made him himself? Look good? <laughs> himself. I mean, the only the only team is the that Lakers team, and uh, I think the it's Bucks. the Warriors. But they did, you know, their offense but was. Like, had, so they, they tired him out. Uh, they tired they him have out. Murray. He didn't have Murray, which is like yeah. very key to his like his his shtick. But that's why I said, I, I said if if you really want to beat them, I'm sorry, you can let Jokic go off for seventy. You need to stop. Seventy's a lot. You need to keep fifty five percent. Jamal Murray for twelve. It's hard. Yeah, you know, to stop Jokic from uh what were you about to say? Uh I was oh I was gonna say I mean the difference between LeBron and and Jokic is they're both playmakers, but LeBron is he's an attack first and then play make. Like, Jokic wants to play make first and then if nothing's open, then then point. he wants to attack at the, after that point. So if basically it's what Lewis was saying, if if you were to take away his playmaking and let him just just attack and get him uncomfortable. Right, and he's still gonna make shots. Fuck it, but at least he won't have the rhythm to get everybody else involved. Because that that team, everybody else work. It's like it's like a moving cog. If everybody's moving at this, you literally have to play perfect defense just to beat beat the Yoke, beat them. Like it has mm-hmm. to be, per, like your chemistry has to be on par with their chemistry. Because everybody knows where they're gonna be at. That you have to lock in, get out passing lanes. If you could do that, then you could probably you could probably win the game. I think you said you said it was cat. I don't really think it's cat. That's that's the. I mean, he's the second, but I think I think it's the role players defensively. If they can like, both teams can lock in, and whoever gets into each other's pass lane, then then they'll win. 